listen to what Darius Rucker did. Yeah, see. and just see how they... And look at how they market it. He got this incredible vision of him back in the 30s, walking down a road with a guitar. Have you seen this thing? Mm -hmm. I haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guy's got the voice from heaven. I mean, he's got the killer. He's perfect for that thing. See, I, I but what they did, those are a set of pictures about to step on right there. Right by your heel. Oh. Um, what they did was, they've interpreted his song. He's making money. Commercialized yeah. is what he did. But he commercialized it, probably one of the best commercializations of a really cool yeah. like, pro medicine show to him. So, you know, you got to look at, at the music business in 3D, literally, in different colors, you know, just the way it is. There's so many things going on. It. It's such a subjective thing, you know. So when you learn to play, the, the five T's will carry you through anything. Your, your, your cello playing, taste, touch, tone. Taste, touch, tone, timing, tune. Tits and tequila. <laughs> Tits and tequila. <laughs> That's later. But taste, touch, tone, timing, and tuning is, is it's critical to what you do. And if you don't, you're, you're a fast reader of this thing. Have you picked up a banjo before? You know, um, a guy named Al Caldwell? Mm -hmm. He's Vanessa Williams' bass player. Mm -hmm. I'm running him out at the NAMM show. He, um, he plays a nine-string electric bass. Really? You know that thumb action that the bass players play? I can do that, actually, on the bass. He saw us doing the claw hammer and fell in love with it. He's playing banjo now. Mm -hmm. claw hammer. And it's just hilarious. But he's, go, on his, go on his website. Mm -hmm. and it just, he's a musician's musician, too. Mm -hmm. But he's got all this banjo stuff he's doing. I can slap uh, on the bass. Like, can you do it? Yeah, I can slap. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. That's a great. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's now. like it's like a certain type of like like feeling that you have to do when you yeah. do it too. You have to like feel the music. Too. Oh, here. Eventually, you I'm going to show. You. I'm going to walk you through all this stuff. I want you to film this. Here's the brush brush thumb. We're going to get down to dropping that thumb here. All right. This is we got to do this fast because I we got to get loaded up here. We got to get moving. We got to get another show. It's fine. Tonight. So it's brush brush thumb. Here's a D, here's a D7, use either one, so it's G, C, D, and the E minor is the relative. So you're changing chords with each brush? Yeah. Okay. So when you play melodies in, in frailing, the critical thing is placement of the thumb. You have to be able to, because later on, if you don't get that, that accuracy going with your thumb, you won't be able to drop thumb. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it goes like this, brush, brush, thumb. next thing that comes is you take up in the brush brush thumb, you take one of the brushes out, take the first brush out, put a note in there. Note brush thumb, it goes like this. And where do you play that note with your your ring, your middle finger? First string, index finger. Index finger. Middle brush. So it is kind of, it's similar to, to bluegrass style with like, Even more in that way. That's what okay. I do. Yeah? All right, so it's note That's why you're just claw grass? This is just... I didn't invent this. This is just all yeah. that frail and better. Let's all try this once. Note brush thumb. We're going to note the third string. Open. First note, foot down. Foot down says timing. Right, so now it's the first string. Next time. I'm note sorry? brush thumb. Yeah, note brush thumb. Do I pick up? You can play with the backs of your nails. So push down. Top of your fingernail. I don't have fingernail. Hit it with the top of the meat on your hand. <laughs> don't flick at it, it's not a booger. You want to come straight down like this. Watch, watch, watch. You're not going like that. You're coming straight down on the string. <laughs> come, well, watch my hand. Uh, Use your index finger. So I guess. You want to get that ringing. Let me hear you for a part of the sec. Go. Yes. 
go for it and do that for two Am weeks. Am I just switching fingers? Yeah, I gotta <laughs> get that muscle memory. That's what yeah. you gotta do. Yeah. Not for two weeks. You already. Hour day. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, let me hear you do it on the uh, good one. I think I can do that. It's no thumb. Um, no fresh thumb. You bite your nose. Use your index finger to catch that one string. Uh, yeah. And then, and then brush through the middle. Thumb. Yeah. Right. You want to get that bump diddy bump diddy kind of rhythm to it. <laughs> okay. Okay, did you all get it on your film? Yeah, okay. I'm actually, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna no, go. no, I gotta get you two more. Real quick. <laughs> film is quick. Film I got is it. Quick. Okay. Here's the exercise yeah, I'll share it with drop you. thumb. Okay? Middle finger thumb. Get rid of your index finger now. Okay? On the one, the strings are one, two, one, five. Okay? Let's pick it. <laughs> it's like a roll. It's a downward motion. So you're doing, so say it, so explain it, slow it down. So, okay, one, one, so. So you're going two. One, two, one, five. One, so you're doing one with the middle, and then the thumb is going back and forth between two and five. Okay, that's simple enough. Alright, here's what it sounds like. That's just those two fingers. Okay, that's called, and what I want you to do for exercise, the one, two, five, one, five, the one, three, one, five, the one, four, one, five, and then back, goes like this. Here's what it sounds like with chords. You get good at it like that. Now here's the fun part, the roll part, the roll patterns. In bluegrass you got four roll. I was, you know, I was actually just getting ready to ask you if you could play that. Oh yeah. <laughs> actually I wanted to. So with a forward roll for bluegrass, there's a forward roll using using claw hammer. Yeah. Three finger claw hammer. It goes like this. So you're going what? You're going. It's 2 3 1 5. 2 3 1 5 and. So you're doing what? You're doing 2 with the index, 3 with the thumb. Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to practice here in a sec. It's index finger to the second, mm -hmm. thumb to the third. Okay. 2 3. Yeah. 1 to the middle. Yeah. 5th to the. Thumb. Yeah. Top to your fingernails. <laughs> You're picking. You can't pick. You gotta, you gotta go. Every single downward motion. Watch. Everything's picking down. You don't go up like it. It's not like this. It's not like this. That's so wait. Picking. The fact that I'm resting my thumb, my pinky on the, the drum. If it helps for now, yeah, yeah, I'd get out of that because you want to use your thumb as your reference on the string. Okay, here's how it's going to sound like. I'm going to use frailing. I'm going to play a tune right now once you guys go. you got to get out of it, right? Yeah. Who's got to leave? Do you have to leave, too? Okay, do you have to leave? Nope. All right, let me show you something. I'm going to change tuning here. I'm going to play a tune called John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> What tuning am I going to? What an E? Close. You're an A, yeah. D. Oh, D, G. I just assumed A Martino, because you got it across Martino the second thread. Just double, e. double D tuning. So you're not. Watch this. So you just you just put the thing the capo across the A 
And then you, what, what do you change your, your? I dropped the, um, the, the bass string down to a C. Okay. A, yeah. K bow. Yeah. And I raised the second string up to a D. Okay. Here, listen up, listen up. Yeah. 